Ilaja local government area is the only part of Ondo state regarded as the Niger Delta region because of the oil exploration going on there. Investigation, however, revealed that the 12 communities are enduring life risks and living in abject poverty while Nigeria makes billions of naira from their coastline region. Ayetoro community, the marine fort of the Ondo coastline region, has become a shadow of itself. The perennial sea surge in Ayetoro has become most drastic in the last three years, submerging hundreds of properties. Many people have been displaced while some others migrated to continue their fishing as far as Akwaibom and Delta states. The sea surge has affected uh, the livelihood of people. People can no longer walk freely on the street. A lot of our buildings have gone. Properties worth millions have destroyed. In fact, on daily basis, on daily basis, I repeat, properties of people have been destroyed. How? Well, the sea is coming. Formerly, I think the whole thing started about uh, 15 or 10 years back. But in the last three years, it has become drastic on daily basis. So much so that everybody becomes uh, skeptical. You don't know who is next. We are not longer safe here anymore. Do be crying to the government. Do we be writing letters. Do we be shouting to, in, 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 to, to international communities, media houses, and all that. Up to do new response. So, the sea salt is affecting us in that area. Our buildings have gone, our properties has gone, even lives has even gone. The community also lacks drinkable water. The last water reservoir was destroyed by a windstorm in 2019. If not in Nigeria local government, the only state cannot be part of Nigeria Delta. So the only local government that could produce oil in own those states, out of the 18 local government that we have in those states, the Nigeria is the only local government that produces oil. That means produce oil. So there are no produce to be qualified among the uh, Nigeria Delta state. Yet, is the poorest. Quote me anywhere. Elijah is the poorest. We live on water. Like this say, water here, water there. He has none to drink. We live on water. We don't have common drinking water. As 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 common as this, Elijah lent and burnt. We don't have to drink water. Yet we live on water. And we are in Niger Delta. We produce oil. So our resources or the money that is taken from our land is what they used to develop our career and other places. Yet we are suffering here. The oil exploration is a major cause. And if you look back, if you go down this, uh, uh, what's it called, the, the Atlantic Coastal, so, supposing you, you came around uh, uh, seven to eight, you see that glass gas flare over the, I mean, in, in, our, in our offshore. So we are there. We have uh, a jeep there. We have Chevron there. We have a uh, Mobi there. Yeah, all of them are there. They are exploring oil on daily basis. But up to today, the government has been deaf to us. They did not see us. They did not regard us as human. And our people are dying on daily basis. All is not well. This all is not well. Well, in this environment of this uh, uh, sea encroachment. Most of our fishermen, they have gone far to places where they can fish easily. Out of 80% of our people that are into fishing, about only 10 of them, only 10% are around here. Leaving the entire community 
into starvation. How? We no longer have fish as we used to have it. We do no longer have fish as we used to have it because of that. Because of rice spinach, some other things. And a pool because they cannot assess the Atlantic Ocean the way they used to. No shoreline, no pools. So, you get it now. So they have to travel far to data states and beyond to our spark pipe where they can fish easily. As bad as things appear in Ayeturu, the community shares the hardship of government's neglect with others in Mulutaini and Ilowo. Women, others, where they this community, they want water with, with uh, fire. No fire for this community. If they look the wire, since nine years today, now they come on the generator. Only the solar do not work for this community. Do not work. They not get water. If they not reach Opakaba, they not see water where they want to drink. But the water where they fetch, where you see that small boy is fetch that place. Is it good for you people to eat? No, it, it's not good to drink. But you drink it anyway. It's not good. Many people will drink the water, now the pot, now the sheet. One day, one, one woman drink the water, then rust and go to the hospital. The water is not good. As seen in Molutain, Ilowo also has its own abandoned NDDC water project. The state contributes 12% of Nigeria's crude oil production and reserves of 3.5 billion barrels of crude oil. FIJ's investigation revealed that the Shore Protection Project at Aitoru was awarded to Gallet Nigeria Limited in December 2004 at the cost of 2.4 billion naira, with 25%, which was 600 million naira, paid as mobilization fee. The contract was withdrawn by the NDDC because the company lacked technical capacity to execute the project. It would later be re-awarded to Dredgen Atlantic Limited in 2009 for 6.2 billion naira and another 15% mobilization fee, which was 950 million naira, was paid to the new contractor. Twelve years later, the Atlantic Ocean, which was formerly about 3 to 5 kilometers from the border, has now encroached Ayatura shoreline. The aftermath is the constant flooding of the community. FIJ took a sample of the water from Ilo for laboratory tests upon claims by residents that the water had been contaminated. A water sample taken from the uncompleted borehole project at Ilo and subjected to laboratory tests at the University of Lagos revealed the compromised state of water meant for public consumption. The pH level was below the minimum standard of the World Health Organization and it also contained some bacteria. The analyst suggested that the water should be urgently treated against causing diarrhea for the consumers. However, the 2018 WHO data on the deaths through diarrheal diseases showed that Nigeria has reached 178,438 which is 9.21% of total deaths, ranking the country as number six in the world.